a issue okay you normally follow it up with what the issue is but i'm listening so i had a little thing much about it um long story short i spared your uh sister and um someone else has her I was going to, like, I put her in the token to bring her to you, and then someone who, I guess, knew enough to imitate Pearl or sort of made themselves look like her a bit, I followed them, and then they were Pearl, and... And you see she looks down at you with like the most thousand yard stare you've ever seen. She goes Right, 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 radio. Okay. You have said words in an order that I understand, and I am not going to be upset about these words, nor am I going to question them or have any ulterior uh, or outbursts of uh, thoughts or anything that I'm going to say or do that would be worrisome or have any problems. One moment. And you see she slides the glass window open. Like, kind of puts her shoulder through and puts her leg over and climbs out the window. Walks to the other side of the wall where you can't see. And there's just a loud... <clears throat> and you can see dust shake from the ceiling. So there's a large impact. What you probably guess is her punching the wall. Before she very calmly climbs back in, closes the window, sits down at her desk. Tell me, in as much detail as you can describe, what happened? Uh, I give as detailed of an explanation as I can. Uh, including, like, the descriptions of, like, the red, um, like, eyes and hair. Okay. She takes this in. Nods. Looks a little concerned. And the concern kind of grows the more you keep talking. Until she gets to the point and goes, Okay. Alright. Okay, alright, alright. Okay. That is... Something that, um... That happened. And this was yesterday? This was last night? Uh, yeah. And you were... You were knocked out by this person, by a scroll. I think? I couldn't read it, so I don't... I assume, maybe, that's a scroll? Right, right, okay, okay. And I assume you're just telling me this to keep me informed. Uh, yes, and also to explain why I need another vassal ship token. Oh, they stole your token. They didn't. Well, oh, uh, yeah, no. Okay. All yeah, right. your sister was in the token. Yeah. 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 Okay. You put my sister in the token. It was either that a killer. I I don't know. What this is. I had limited options. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I, I didn't count. Mate, guesstimate for me. Would, Rough estimate. 15, 15 minutes? You, you kept her in 15 minutes of a void. I didn't think that a, a parasite she was 
Carmen the brown was like like she has lungs. No, no, no. She doesn't. She doesn't. But um, don't do very well in the dark. Especially in the no. She's not scared of it. It's we no. lose all sensory abilities when surrounded. I'm not going to tell you all this. We went over this. Um, just say we don't do too well in the dark when we're our original forms. So, um, cool. So she got kidnapped. You have no idea who did it. They have a scroll with your name on it. And that's Can you track it. Track vassalship tokens. Hmm. Can you track vassal vassal vass shit. Can you track your tokens? Oh, we do not have vassal shit tokens here. Um. I we don't have a feature that we can just track them uh, whenever we want. That would be so great because that would stop all of our wonderful vassals from losing them so very often. And that's not directed towards you. That's directed towards all vassals. They lose them basically every single fucking week. Um. No, no. Uh, already enough that they run off of a limited sending for gold. That alone busted our ass an insane amount of gold that you cannot even think of to put towards all those enchantments. Um, never mind one that has K okay, object spell built into it and all that was responsible. Uh, to be able to keep track of all is like a great thing until your vassals ask you know they're taking a shit around the corner at a precise location and time. So it was thought about but never implemented for that privacy reason. Also, for the fact that it would have cost a literal hoard of gold to get that on every single vassal ship token. Is that like a feature that we can add when we rank up? Or is... Yeah. Hey, you're funny. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> you, you can get maybe a personal enchanter to tinker with it, but that's not something that we offer. If you don't want to lose it, locate object spell is a thing, or maybe just don't lose it. Yes, next time I will surely, uh, whenever the magic, you know, just knocks me unconscious, I'll be sure to tell it no. Uh, yeah, nope, I don't agree. Jesus, my Well, you know, <laughs> maybe that was phrased in a very simple way for you. Let me up it a little bit. You don't just give people chances to do that. That's why you're traveling groups. That's why you are in one of the very few groups that is pretty big enough to be called the Six. Um, especially traveling late at night after you just want to fight and you're exhausted. I mean, that I'm not I'm not saying that I'm blaming the victim here, but you were traveling for town the most exposed you ever would with your guard completely down. And you also walked into an alley by yourself. That's fair. So you know, there's like levels to it. Um, new tokens are 500 gold. Oh, fuck. That's, that's the, <laughs> the, the, the bare minimum uh, to respec a token to you. Um, you were told this when you became a vassal. I have a feeling that you forgot it, as most vassals do. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a lot of things. But you, so you, did you see what direction they went off in? They didn't say anything at all. Nothing. They didn't say anything, and they left by rooftop. Rooftop. Yes. How high was the roof? Leaped in a single bound. Um, it's st your standard, like, 10, 15 feet, something like that. Maybe taller? It, it was take you to where it happened. How tall yeah. was it? It was, like, it was 30 feet. Oh, it was, shit. It was, a, it was a big fucking jump. Um, yeah. Double that, 30 feet. Right, okay. I'm 
so red honest hair, that he's... red eyes, red coat, red cape. It knew wasn't that you would be there. Knew about Pearl. You didn't. You didn't. And knew about my. Huh? Was it, was it you? I like this is. Is this? A... I'm sorry. I did. Like, uh, so you want to run that back real quick you, and ask me that again? You just named all the factors, right? Like that sounds. It's not. I can't. Maybe, I don't know anyone else that can. Maybe, maybe, I don't maybe. Know. Use your body. Only one. How that would be to rob own asshole in any way, shape, or form. Because, like, at that point, you know, you you have your sister, and she was really important to you, and you know, you could keep the facade up, and and. No one would know what happened. Right, so, Juan, I'm going to pretend that you didn't just say that to my face. Okay. Two, I was on Goody Station by your I was in the slumbering thicket watching a coastline in case heralds came for some godforsaken reason. So I was not there. I didn't know where you were going. I didn't know you would be there. I also, as you know, uh, can only cast magic on myself. Um, so don't know sleep spell or anything like that. Also, you're an elf. Wouldn't work on you anyways. Um, don't know how it did. So not my specialty. Uh, I am a brute force kind of gal. If there is a wall, I break it. I don't think about how I can cast wall falls asleep. Um, jumping a building at 30 feet is definitely something I can do. Uh, however, it's also something that many people can do if you are of the right build. That's, monstrosity reading, I guess. That's concerning. Uh, you're going to find it more common the higher up you get, but... Why are there so it's the fact that you said red hair, red eyes. Yeah. And that they knew Calamity was in the token. Yeah, so why are there so many... First off, there's you, your sister, and now this other person. Why are there so many, like, strong individuals with, like, red hair and, and like, well, weird eyes and physical feats? For one, the bodies that my sister and I possessed were twins. So that's why we look like. That makes sense. That she kept the host that was when originally when we got here. That that's that that checks out. The fact that there's another one that from your description looks like me and is able to do similar things to me is concerning. As far as I know, we are the only two parasites on this plane Never mind this island. And I should be able to detect them pretty easily since we give off a very obvious signal to one another so that you don't kill a host of another parasite while they're in hiding. Did your body's owners have a triplet? Not that I knew of. But I'm starting to think that, uh, maybe? Or someone that's potentially trying to frame me or looks like me or knows the shit that I do. I don't know how or who would have information that I do like that. You a clone? No. I mean, the only reason I asked... Not like, that I know of. Yeah, you don't cast spells and... Or not clone, sim simulacrum, I think is the, 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 the term. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I I don't really have any trusted individuals that I've talked to about with Pearl, nor have I, I told anyone except for you about uh, my sister and I, but that wasn't even of my own doing. I only did that because the bell. Excuse me? Slowly looks down at the bell. Ooh. 
looks up at you. What is the bell? Because you just said it like the bell isn't what you told me the bell originally was. Uh, go ahead and make me a raw intelligence check. Oh, God. <laughs> Dear God. Brains? Issues. Uh, that is... To heart a four. <laughs> I still do have disadvantage of the ability, ability check. check. Oh, yeah. no. Cool. Oh, okay, hold on. We use inspiration. For it. This is just one die. It's not a disadvantage die. I was say, it can indeed get worse. Never <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, uh, please think. I don't know if it'll be in. Uh. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, this is kind of mainly intelligence. It's intelligence, and I think Jared is too high to realize it. <laughs> so it's an unfortunate devil, double wop. You think for a few moments, and you can't find the obvious. So you're currently clueless to exactly what she's trying to lead to. But even with a six. <laughs> uh, this is me talking to Jared. What is one of the first things that uh, you saw when you walked in? Her reorganizing stuff? Nope. For that. Nobody at the front desk. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're 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 giving me things. I'm not kidding. I'm not getting them. I'm just intelligence. Uh, Jared needs a history check IRL as well. Mm -hmm. Well, um, with with your li limited uh, intelligence check, being physically and uh, mentally exhausted. Uh, you you can't really think of the current answer right now except for things are missing. Um, and she looks at the bell and goes, Well, yeah, I use this bell to interrogate people so it forces them to tell the truth. But it doesn't... It doesn't act like the Zone of Truth spell. It forces the entire room, no matter what, to tell the truth. There's no chance that it fails there's nothing i paid a ridiculous amount of gold to make sure that happened me until just now i marched up to being buggy or something's broken or maybe the enchantment was wrong because i hadn't used it in a while I think someone might have been listening in. Because this is the only room that I've ever said that out loud. And yet they know both about you, Pearl, me, sister. Oh. And they look like us. At least they have similar hair, eyes like us. Just because they're redhead, red eyes doesn't mean they're the same. Related. And this has clearly altered their self, so I wouldn't actually even know if I were talking to them or not. Fuck. This is bad. This is really bad. I mean, the host body is dead, right? What's the... So, th does the power follow the parasite, or is it cured in the host? Oh, I'm not. Table? I'm not worried about calamity dying on her own. She can live at least a few weeks outside of a, a host body without dying. 
She's gonna be in agony and torment, but she'll live. I'm worried about that there is a stranger with my sister in a bag. A unknown in an unknown location going an unknown direction with no way of me knowing where and they know all of that information about me and could very easily make it go public with evidence okay Didn't think this would come so soon, but looks like the cat may be out of the bag earlier than expected. And she just slow pans down to you. You haven't told anyone, right? About you or about your sister being gone? No about me and my sister not being us somewhat not about you not being what you are I don't think they know that you're related uh, but I did mention to my party that was there with me and caught up after everything um, that Calamity was a parasite um but that was that recently she was yeah it was recently but not long like i didn't even tell lying. pearl okay you didn't even tell pearl mm -mm. well if it's not on your end that's on mine shit Oh. Right. Well, one of two things is going to happen. A lunatic either just ran away or is either experimented and tortured on or whatever. They do with a parasite from a different name. With no way of finding out where she is. Or is there ski back me doing something that was her life? Both about uh, where's the lady? You let me in today. I was looking forward to saying hi to um, her. Fiona's been out for a few days. She said that she had some family business back home, and I gave her the time off because I I haven't had a lot of whole lot of paperwork recently. I haven't been doing a lot of events, but. She stops and looks at other right. fucker. And she doesn't even use the door. She just walks straight for the wall. J straight Kool-Aid man punches through the wall, crumbles down, dust falls from the ceiling again. Walks up to the desk, throws the desk up against the ceiling, smashes into pieces. As she is pulling it all apart, that's where the dust settles and she goes back. And part of the desk is a... straight from the desk into the ground. Ground one by one, tearing it until she gets to her desk, where it is put into the bottom peg and led all the way up to the bell. And she just stands there in awkward silence for a good couple of minutes. You know, girl, I found her as a bum on the streets. She had great attitude, said good morning to me every day. 
every time I passed to work. And eventually I saw her enough. She was ambitious enough to keep asking for a job, keep asking for a position. I eventually said yes. And I didn't trust her with books or any sort of record keeping or any sort of personal information for years. Hired her 60 years ago. And I thought she was an elf. And that's why she was aging so. I swear to the gods above, she was planning to do something to my hair this entire island apart to find her, and she's not on this island. I will gladly resign as a sponsor, just to get rid of my duties so I can go find her myself and strangle that bitch dead. Honestly, I'd probably do the same. Uh, this sounds like a decent plan. Can you detect other worldly beings? Uh, some. Which ones? Um, it's only fiend and uh, where's divine since that? I know it's the day. Uh, it's fiends, undeads, and celestials. Yes, fiends and thank you. Celestial undeads and not thing. <laughs> Even though almost everyone says Fey, Fiends is not it. I think that's like the ancients or one of them that can do them. Okay, so you're not going to be useful for this part. Right. I'm going to go through some of my other vassals, and I'm going to have to form my own team for this. Because I cannot find her myself. And I'm going to have to pull every favor in the book I have for some of my friends in high places to keep their fucking mouth shut while also helping me. So, if you give, if uh, she to, raises uh, an eyebrow. Yeah, it uh, expands a little bit. It's like aberrations and elementals in Fey and Fey. How much of a range? Uh, 30 feet. Not useful. Okay. All oh, right. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> If we scan this entire city 30 feet at a time, it will take us months to get anywhere close to where they could be. And half the time, you'd probably be picking up the goddamn half the tiefling population. Never mind any aberrations that might be hiding. You just see she just kind of sits down in the fucking mess of her office that she's made and just kind of puts her hand in her, or puts her face in her hands. We're just getting out like a deep exhale. Well, thanks for telling me. Thank you for helping in your own way, even though I don't think you meant to. And I am going to be away for a few days, potentially more. If you need anything, just go to Jura. He's a good friend, also works in the security department, and can act as a temporary sponsor if need be. And if he doesn't have the time or doesn't want to take you, I know she was a pain in the ass before, but Belle Estelle is also one of my good friends, and she is probably one of the more competent sponsors. Just say that Ada is gone, and she is not fucking around. And if That's that doesn't funny. work, you can just personally call me on the vassal ship token. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm going to get you another one. Your family is rich. I assume you're going to give me 500 gold at some point. 
So just keep that in mind. I will be collecting when I get back or when I'm in the state of mind to be reminded that I am owed 500 gold. Sound good? That's, yeah, that, that's fair. Okay. Well, happen to know any um, extra planar beings or any hunters for them specifically, give me a call as well. I thought I killed most of them, if not all of them already, so I'd be surprised if there are any left. Um, but just in case any of them did tip them off, and it's not the worst case scenario that I am thinking, it'd be nice to know if there's any around that might have been fucking with me. Now, as always, if you need any help, um, better call away. Um, I'm contractually obligated to help you if you call, so. This is not a mission I can put on the Need the challenge? Okay, yes. Um, I will also be gone for some time. Um, there's maybe a thing with uh, Rictus. Uh, it involves killing and uh, helping maybe heal wounds. Uh, so, it's going to be right. fun. Cool. You guys have fun with that. Let me know how it turns out. Right. Oh, shit. And I realized, oh, my God. awesome timing. This is great. Um, I know we had talked about hand-to-hand -hand combat and learning and all of that. Um, I can give you one of my help in hand-to-hand -hand combat. A very similar fighting style to me. Near as powerful as I am, but they have the technique down if you'd like to learn from them. Yeah, I played right. around with it a little bit um, against your sister. Um... It was, it was good. It felt good. Love that. It felt natural. Please exclude all. Well, I'll get you that name. Uh, again, you find literally anything, a hint of anything. You send a message my way. I will reimburse any gold it takes for however long conversation it is. It is more than important that I find out about any aberrations on Paradise Peak. Understood? Yes. Oh, shit. Um... Do I... I was there with, um... Reese and the thing, right? I... Believe. You were... You were there when we had the conversation with it, so you were there. If that's what you're asking. Yes. The, you you yes. do know okay. about A, if that's what you're asking. Okay, cool. I, um, I've been, this has been on my mind since she mentioned about the parasites. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she will say, um... Oh shit, now that you specifically aberrations, I don't know if it's an aberration, um, but it is kind of like a parasite thing. Um, my buddy Reese did a thing and there was like this parasite that's real moody. Um, and I think she was doing a thing to help it out. Um, I don't know how that's going though, but it sounds like an aberration. Another parasite is on Paradise Peak. At this moment. Well, I, I haven't gotten any updates, nor have I asked her for updates on how that was going. And when did this happen? How long have you known? Uh, how long have I known? A, a day. Like two days? A yeah. day, two. Uh, uh, two days ago. It would be two days um, now. Trusted, and uh, then I had to do the thing kind of last night. 
so couldn't really find the time to uh, tell you. Um, right. Although I did have vassal ship tokens. Fuck. Okay, that's my bad. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like they've been around long enough for them to be the suspect. But they could still be part of the information. We're listening in on you or any of your friends that actually allowed themselves to talk to them. Let me tell you, astral beings have a very easy way of invading your mind. Um, if you're curious about it, I think you should reach out to Reese and talk to her. You seem to have a more, like, intimate connection. I was, uh, anti, uh, like, Parasite during that conversation, and she was pro, and they seemed to kick it out, uh, kick it off pretty well. I'll reach out if needed. For now, I have things that I must look into. Including all of the previous information I was given about my previous assistant. Whether or not I have another sister. Or brother. That'd be a really fucked up brother. Thanks, Maeve. No problem. Do you want to hug before good. I go? I really want to punch something. Got your shield? Uh, no, I'd break yeah, it. Yeah, one moment. No, I... Oh, shield's not magical, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, no, I'll sell for a hug, then. And okay. she gives you the most uncomfortable, tight bear hug you've ever gotten. Like, you're five foot ten, right? Yes. She picks you up by the waist, arms wrapped around you, and squeezes you with such force you can hear the armor creaking, and if it wasn't magical, it might be dented slightly. As she's literally just putting every single ounce of her strength um, before setting you back down, and... I'll keep in contact with you. I'll have a new vassal ship token brought over to your house sometime today. Oh, be a beast, a monster. Burn it all down. Destroy it all. I don't think you want to say that to me right now because I very much will, and it includes your house that's on this island. Okay, maybe not that. Uh, somewhere else, though. For sure. Yep. And she just walks out the door, leaving the office completely trashed, empty, and open. <laughs> um, as the door hinges are just kind of like creaked loud enough to assume that you pro she probably bent them. I mean... But yeah, uh, anything else you'd like to do in the office before you leave or you just head back? I'll go look through the books that she was organizing uh, to see if there's uh, anything of import. Uh, use this, use her trauma to snoop and uh, further my sure. education. Wow. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> um, as you take a look at the shelf, there's a, a few, actually, oh, fuck. Do you think in this exhausted state, Maeve remembers the exact books that she was looking through? And she remembers the general area, but the okay. specific book, no. Go ahead and just roll me a d10. Okay. You want it? Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you for it. I right, to get the actual book, you want a five. Five. Cool. Others, uh, you're, always you're just gonna get a random. What fucking car is always this gonna be a five? On... This no, it's two. Two. <laughs> Yeah. So you place your finger on the exact book that she read before moving it three books over to the left and finding 
Paradise Peak and its history of fine wines. I didn't somewhat interest you. It is a collection that seems to be very well documented um, and very well tested as all of the both vassals under her care and you could probably imagine to be a couple of thousands worth of years of history is shoved into this book along with like personal notes that she's put in there. You can see like uh, there's approval stamps and sticky notes on like specific wines that she liked and didn't like and some that she's made herself and some that she suggested for others and it it's a very comprehensive list of the process of winemaking i flip and skim and realize that this isn't a really significant book uh try to close her office behind her um and adjust the door and then um i have to go look for a uh, reese in specific sure anyone else doing anything during that time okay please looking for a library and then the ball is there oh i don't know if they've got one well do you want to look there first or you want to go to the dreaming city uh sure i'll look in the Dumbola State Fest. Um, it doesn't take you long. About 20-ish minutes of walking around and eventually asking uh, Bats as you catch her in the hallway. Um, she goes, I do, I do think there's a, there is a library, but I don't know if you're allowed to research all the sections some are in the restricted sections what's that mean what are you looking for restricted. I you. I just, it just means you can't look at them why because it because they're the owners it's the, it's the Dumbalo's personal collection oh why keep them in the public library well, they're not in the public library they're in the restricted section in my public or in my Dumbala? just part Oh, you're most certainly public. You are not a Dabala. Oh, so mm -hmm. you're letting me into Dabala the library. private yeah. library as a public person and it's not a public library? Oh, well, yeah, I'm saying this. But it's not open to the public either way. It's a private library, right? But even though it's the private library, there's still some public records in there. Oh. So it's like, you know, there's like sections that like you can go into. Do you do a lot of reading? No. Uh, I'm looking Not for really. information on. Uh, is there like a librarian there? Someone that does? Yeah. Great. I can go get him if you want. Yeah. Alright. One moment. James! James! Bro. Oh. To, like, like a minute goes by before James walks down the hall still wearing apron James and you see a partially bitten off duster in hand oh no what, I'm, right, what can I help you with um, I had my mind being cold uh, that said you might be able to help me with the library locating information I, I I've cleaned the library before a few times yeah uh, what, what what would you be looking for oh, I'm trying to find information on books. islands islands yeah any islands in particular islands is a broad topic ah uh, I think it's called Ravinica Ravinica doesn't ring a bell, but I can take a look for you. Um, you're welcome to come help if you want. Uh, yeah, I can help. There's just sections that Beth told me that if I go in there, I lose my head. So I'm not allowed to go in there. Okay. At least not those specific parts. I can go in like the normal parts where like, you know. Which cool. Yeah. Right, uh, follow me. 
Okay. Yeah. Help him look for it. Anything. He walks you down the library, which, uh, as you walk in, it doesn't at first look like a library because it is a very small room. You see there's only a few bookcases and there is a stone ladder kind of carved into the wall leading up. And James ignores all of the bookshelves immediately around him, walks up through it, opens a hatch, and you are in a auditorium-sized library that is full to the brim with each and every single bookshelf packed together as closely and as tightly as possible to give the maximum amount of books per square foot in this room. Looks like a maniac made this place. Probably did. Um, but you can all start uh, going through the books uh, with both you and James. I'll have James make a check. You can uh, join him as well. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. <laughs> Six. Oh boy. I will remind you, you have inspiration. Uh, <laughs> sure. Plus one. Everyone close the other night, anyways. Oh, James did just. Oh my god. <laughs> She's just like pulling books off the shelf, six, tossing it to the floor. So you are finding absolutely nothing. On islands in general, you're not finding a whole lot. And you're beginning to surmise that islands recorded history besides Paradise Peak is very hard to find. At least in this specific library and these specific sections. Ah, James has so no help not at all. Helpful. James cannot find shit. Um, and then the second investigation check, when you look around, you find a book, and you see Raven on the side, and you get super excited, and you pull it out, and it is just a collection of hand paintings of a raven. And you guess it's probably one of the Dumbawa's children who just had a book where they just painted birds in it. The and not very well. This? <laughs> oh, man. I think that's supposed to be the eye, and that's supposed to be the wing. I think that's the bike. James. I know it's not like autistically <laughs> correct, but it's, you know, it doesn't look like it was done by someone in the later years. How long have you lived on this island? My entire life. Is there a good, very good library somewhere? I mean, there's a... Um, it's a few. It's a public one, but it doesn't really have, like, a whole lot in terms of, like, what you're looking for, but... There is one down at the guild hall that you could look into. Which it's one? Best one all. Uh, well, it, there's only, there's only one guild hall for vessels. Oh. Unless it's multiple, in which case I would not know. I only know the main one because I used to deliver packages to the main one. You've had a lot of jobs. I do everything I can to pay for education and livelihood. Do you need help picking this up? I know it's quite alright, it's just a few books. Kipu's eyes are like trailing across the many books she wound up throwing off the shelf. Yeah, there's about like he says there's only a few, but there's probably like tw there's probably like twenty ish that are just like sprayed across the floor. He just goes one by one, and they're not like small books. These are all like heavy, like you could use this as a weapon book if you needed to. Yeah. Improvised weapon at your service. Kipu, I help him pick him up. She's just shoving him into spaces. No, no, no. Every time you do, he goes, no, they went like that. And he does and, re and redoes it. Right, right here. And you shoving him back is adding more time as he goes for each one, one, replacing this it, and making sure the cover's clean. Might not place, please tell. 
I, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> oh, this goes here, this goes here. Oh, fuck, wait, no, I did the order wrong. This goes here, this goes here. No, you just shoved that in the complete... All right. And after about, like, ten minutes of just him recorrecting books, finally puts the last one back and goes, Right, okay. Um, do you need anything else? No. Thanks. Right, you're welcome. Have a good one. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll be around. Good Thank job. you. You make the best waffles. She'll skip off. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We like those waffles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I assume we're headed down to the guild hall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you don't... It, <laughs> we don't have to do the whole whatever. I I don't want to keep everyone else up. I was if I can find anything awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you just want just want to try and roll again? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, uh, give me another investigation check. Wow. There it Ooh, is. Ah, ah. Eighteen. So the eighteen is not enough. Oh, there's a reason why all the. <laughs> the, uh, LGBT, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, you look around and you think you found it as there is a book on lost islands and I in islands in general that have like known destruction on them. Um as you're looking through, you notice there's a lot of islands that have gone missing in the like more recent years like in the past 10 years you begin to count like how many islands that have gone like and been relocated or just haven't been able to get contacted with or physically aren't there anymore and it's totaled to about 70 hmm. and that's give or take you don't actually look for the entire book you, that's just skimming And you look in the later years, closer to when the arcane detonation happened, there was like no islands actually moving or being lost or destroyed or anything of the sort. The closer and closer that you get to the current date, more islands that start having problems. And as you look at some of the names, one stands out in a very recent addition. Mm -hmm. Mistrum. Oh, fuck me. You see, there is a very small passage, only a few sentences long, describing an unknown calamity that struck the center of the town and caused the entire village to collapse upon its own foundation inwards, leaving a gaping hole in the center of the island, straight down into the mines below, now uninhabitable. She will file that away in her brain. All right. Kick the book aside. Look at all the rest of them. I'm no good at this. I need to go back. And she'll head back to the manor. Sure. But you, you leave all the books there. Oh. Amazing. Oh, am I allowed to take it? Oh, you can, but God knows... You know there's a checkout. <laughs> <laughs> do you try and take the book out, or do you want to do you leave it there? Um, yeah, sure. She'll take that book with her. So, yeah. on your way out of the guild hall... <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for this. <laughs> on your way out of the guild hall, as you're leaving the library, you hear, Wait. <laughs> 
Are you checking out, dear? No, I'm just leaving. Do you have a book in your possession? Yeah. I sense it. Yeah. If you are to check out an item, come over here. Oh. She walk over. What does this person look like? I don't believe I've seen you here before. Give me two seconds and I'll give you the art. <laughs> Game visuals. Enter. <laughs> you know what? I don't, like, I don't even put the normal name. I just think enter li the library. It is funny. <laughs> enter the librarian. Welcome, my dear. To my humble abode. I see you're trying to check out of one of the books. Yes. For this. A deal must be struck. Of what date you would like to return it at? Normally um, we do one month, two months, or if you're a new goer, we like to stay around the week area, considering we don't know how well you will treat our fine parchment. Well, I'm getting ready to leave on a possible month-long trip that I might mm, need I this. See. So two months time to be safe then. That would be Does awesome. that sound agreeable? Yeah. Wonderful. You see, she takes out her own piece of parchment and begins scribbling wildly in uh, it could be an eligible common, but it's so it's like doctor's manuscript. Like you look it's just it's it looks common, but you can't read it because of how fucked up it is. Um and she slides the paper over to you and slides an ink pen to you. Sign here. This is a statement saying you will bring the book back exactly within two months time or a time prior to your two month deadline. Otherwise you lose your soul to this very library. Oh. Wow. We are I mean, I'm just kidding. I love doing that with all the new vassals. Okay. No, you just always fine. <laughs> okay. For every day that you don't pay, it's five gold. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, no, I think that sounds reasonable. Get well, it back before then. All right. What? What? Oh, you also have to write down your name and uh, who your vassal, uh, who your sponsor is. Question. Just so if you are lost, killed, we know it was on your possession before you died. What happens if something happens to the book? Well, you are responsible and you will have to pay for all the lost information in full. How much would that be? Not well, that I'm planning on book. losing it. see what you're it. running. Well, my dear, these books are also very hard to break. They are not everlasting spell books, but the pages are made with the finest parchment and are in waterproof seals to make sure that even if you are traveling, they will not easily damaged. Now, if oh. you keep this within your vassal ship token, they should have no problem of breaking, tearing, or have any sort of damages to them. Unless there is a creature living within your token that is slowly consuming all of your items. It does happen on occasion. But not very often. Right, I'll keep but an there's eye neither out here nor there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's okay. She picks up the pen. So, uh, name, uh, oh, dear. Yeah, okay. Scribbles her name. And then right under that, put sponsor. Um... E V Evelyn Evelyn uh, You could just put E V C so Evelyn Kroll. Yeah, that's her last name. She scribbles that. Yeah. You didn't know your sponsor's last name, right? Well, well I've only talked to her once. 
uh, most warlocks in their relationship with Miss Cause distant. I myself know I am actually one of the vessels. Or I used to be before I was sentenced here. Sentenced. Sentenced. Oh. My speech is fading from me already. <laughs> oh no. Are you going to be alright? Staying within these halls for as long as I have. Sometimes you begin to wonder. Am I losing my mind? Did I have a mind to begin with? Anyway, dear, two months checkup time. Please bring it in sometime before then, or the dues will start racking up. Okay. Have a wonderful day. And good luck on your mission or journey or wherever you're going. Thank you, librarian. It's the librarian. The... Thank you, the. She You're took welcome. the book away. Ta-ta! And you leave. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for indulging me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have to put some mean characters in there. Yeah, it can't all be I serious. love oh. that librarian. That's cool. I, I was just like, give me like old fashioned like settlers' clothes, but make it Eldridge. And I got it. So great. I think I actually have multiple saved because there's like uh, the artist did multiple renditions of the same character, and they get better and better with each one. That's one of the late ones. This is one of the early ones they did that I loved and I almost used, but I was like, eh, it's not it's not detailed enough. Yeah, I definitely like the but gore it... just dripping off of her hands. Yeah. Uh but yeah, um for the sake of time Reese and Maeve do eventually cross paths. Whether it's back at the... Actually, I think Reese was... Er, did you have any business outside the manor, Reese? I don't believe so. Not really. She just wants a no. revenge kill for Rictus. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about dragons and revenge. Mm -hmm. Perfectly normal things over waffles. Um, maybe you eventually come back and you can find Reese still sitting in the estate with a murderous look, grin, whatever you might call it. <laughs> Hey, Reese. <laughs> hey. Get in trouble from your grandfather yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Um, no, no. No, no, not yet. Um, good question. How's everything with your, uh, buddy, your alien companion? Sorry, otherworldly companion. I don't know if alien exists. I'm not a warlock. She smiles at you kind of dumbly after. <laughs> Did you make like any deals? Nothing. You just just help them, help them out. Yeah. So there was a whole thing that happened when you were absent from the party yesterday. I know. How much do you know? You all went celebrating without me, and you, 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 well, I decided to leave, but you all, y'all went to, to have fun and stuff. Spin your coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wanna have a, a seat with me for a minute? 
Oh no. I don't, I don't like this. Did someone die? Did you kill no. somebody? Um, no. <laughs> no. No. Okay. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down. It's just, I know you want me to be more open about things. And, uh, I got everybody arrested and we went to jail for, uh, like a, a little moment. It, uh, it wasn't very long. It was a few hours. <laughs> so, for, the, for the audience listening, I know. But you got into a, a bar fight or something? Well, remember when we were having a conversation with A? The yeah. parasite you're inquiring about? Do you remember yeah. what he requested of me? To, like, find a body or something? Yes. You go to a so, graveyard and dig up a body? No, he requested a live body. You murder somebody? <laughs> that would make them unalive, Maeve. Oh, well, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Did you kidnap up somebody? I went to a location that for lack of a better term, could be grave adjacent. And I allegedly attempted to kidnap somebody, but I never actually got my hands on a body. So that didn't actually happen, but they arrested me anyways. Allegedly. So you went somewhere to try to kidnap someone to use as a vessel for a creature. Allegedly. I mean, allegedly. <laughs> Where did you go? A, a temple? A, 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 a drunk bar? You just picked somebody up that was, you know, off their shit? Make How much the, do the, you the want to know? Is do I want to know? Is it important where I went or that it never happened? You know what? For legal reasons, I d I I don't I don't think I should know. I I will just think I'll of the harshest. Yeah. Good plans. Okay. It wasn't so, a kid, right? You didn't try to take a child. <laughs> no, I wasn't planning on that. Anyway, um, yeah, we got arrested. Right. I guess there was a, a separate crime unrelated to us at that location and we Last ended up game? in the crosshairs because of my intent um, in the end it was one of uh, the sponsors that released us from our prison cells and let us go on our way Um, and then I located a body after that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and so the stipulations were the body has to be alive. And so you found a living person that was willing to let you put a foreign object in their body that would control their body? Well, they were very young, and it was hard to explain. Wait, what do you mean it was hard to explain? Like, they were illiterate? Uh, they were just, I think, a little young to grasp the concept of what we had planned but they were dying and so I gave them the choice to continue to die or live with something inside of them did you manipulate a child into being a parasite's host yeah you um 
I didn't feel like I was manipulating them. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. I was given the address by the sponsor that let us out of our cells and um to me he was making it very clear that the people in that area had no hope to live by magical means or otherwise um and i did try to talk with her regarding that see what kind of help they received but she i believe didn't speak a language uh I don't think she could speak verbally, so it was hard to communicate with her. But my understanding was that she was didn't have a lot of time left. And this was the solution slash answer to A's problem. Okay, well... I guess I can, if I can make 15 orphans, you can manipulate one. I don't, I don't know. I love That's a quick cool. exchange. <laughs> All right, cool. Did you say if I, I can this... make 15 orphans, you can manipulate one? Is that what you said? Yeah, we, yeah, we killed people. We... <laughs> We killed people for like the whole the whole like vengeance thing when we split off. Yeah, we, we I killed oh, people. So sorry. I, yeah, they're fifteen orphans. I, I get it. More I thought Maeve was 15, confessing to something. <laughs> yeah, to murder. Um, <laughs> what? Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. I mean. The procedure went well. Just for the future's sake, we're not going to manipulate any more children into being the host for, for other creatures, right? That's like, that was the one and done, like a, for... like a bangs, you know, so one f- done. So what you're saying is for future's sake, when you see a dying in an irreparable illness child, you will just let them perish and die a horrible death. Over giving them to a parasite? You know, fucking, probably. Death is not like a, a, a thing that's uncommon. I can't cure death. And maybe make life slightly easy. I don't think I have. I can cure diseases. I don't think I can cure cancer. It's I, so if they're terminal. I, there's nothing I can do. A could do something. No, oh, no. A could also come back to bite us in the ass. Well, you dang. Um, so you play with uh, parasites on a daily basis these days, anyway. So. Uh... I don't know what the difference is. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. And you I literally just lost it. one in a back alleyway. I know, and I was giving it to somebody else. I don't like it, alright? It's it's the same reason I had to deal with that parasite is the same reason I have to logic a reason to, to be okay with you giving the parasite to a child. You know, I do... I do a lot to to adore my friends. You are the first friends I've had in a long time. So, you know, sometimes you just got to you got to manipulate yourself to to agree to certain things. Oh, is the child okay? Did they you said it went good. Are they like here? Did they leave somewhere? The procedure went well, yes. Feature. Did you implant it? It's, it wasn't just like a give it to you, give it to them thing, and 
and just like they magically absorbed was this like a entire like opening surgical thing yep okay all right I mean, I didn't do it myself, if that's what you're worried about, given my experience. Wait, hot potato with a child? The child's procedure? Who else was involved? It was Nordstrom that did the procedure. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, that's good. That's okay, then. He's, uh, even if I don't agree with it, he's significantly more powerful than me. So, not sure I can do. <laughs> well, I don't know. I suppose, given more time, sometimes I might be able to make a better moral decision. I I was on a timeline, and I wasted a lot of time going to prison earlier in the day, so I apologize if this is the way that things went down, but no, I didn't close. really want to keep it from you, so. Thank you for being honest, you know. At the least, I don't think any of us um said that we wanted to be like heroes or anything so it's part of the course <laughs> you did miss me shapeshifting into a very large tiefling man ooh <laughs> you can do that I think I can now I am now curious what you would have looked like. That's, that's interesting. Might Maybe be a... you could... Sorry, go, ahead. go I said it might be a trick I pull out every now and again. It was kind of fun. Ooh. We have to put you in a situation where you can use it. <laughs> um... Do you think Kipley... Did I did I freak out everyone in in Kipley with the the whole thing? Now that the uh, uh, victory kind of wore off, that wasn't I didn't experience like too much with the whole thing, right? So I believe. Uh... It was a lot, yes, for people to take in the basic brutality of what happened, just the physical brutality of it was one thing. Some people can deal with that part of it. But I think it was the grotesque display of wealth based around the family's ability to be judge, jury, and executioner in some off-market brand of justice that was hard to chew. And don't get me wrong, I'm this is just the answer to the question that you asked. It's not necessarily my opinion. What's your opinion? She has like this moment where she like waits for the answers in her head. Like several answers in her head to come to her. But there's nothing because she doesn't have them there anymore so she actually has to make like that decision by herself so it takes her a couple more minutes to process well 
The first thing that happened today was Rictus telling us of two Goliath brothers who killed his father and cut off his arm. And he found out that they're still alive. And my first instinct was to go and slaughter them. So it'd be pretty hard to judge you or your family for that matter for finding some sort of painful justification to hurt those who have wronged your family and if you want to do it in a display like you guys did I don't I think it just sets a uh, an example for the future although you guys keep it more secretive and make a sign paperwork which I think defeats the purpose of a And it being an act, an example being made of somebody, but to each their own. I, I would have been the next one in line to attack her if you didn't make it as far as you did. Yeah. Hmm. It's good to know that. You're similar in that means. I. Rick just told us I wanted to. You know. Have this, a similar reaction. Yeah, but then I want to use their parts to build new things, so. Similar in some ways, and not so much in others. <laughs> yeah. Man, nope, that, I can't say that was a. That was a thought. <laughs> had. Um, what do you think Rictus would want? Because I, I feel like this is his thing, and he said he doesn't know if he know what he would do if he was, like, in front of them. Should we be doing this if he's not ready for that? Being confronted with the things that have haunted you from the past would put anybody in a state of shock. And if you don't have friends there to fill the gap when your mind is busy, then he would just perish on his own. So I'd rather be there for him and see how things go than allow him to deal with it on his own. And besides, they have a lead right now. And let's say tomorrow you have a lead on Calamity. Would you allow it to fester and die off in the next fucking four weeks or would you pursue it immediately so you don't lose track fair point okay. yeah I don't blame Rictus for not knowing what he'd do if he were standing in front of them it was probably a very traumatic experience I know what I'll do when I'm standing in front of them and it, maybe it'll give him enough time to decide. Yeah. Exciting, exciting. Should we find the others and... I guess we could shop, gather supplies, um... Make a plan? Plan sounds good. Alright. And with all of that, I think that's the perfect place to end here. And next week, we will pick up as we get ready to leave the island. Woo. Oh, my, I was too oh, far yeah. away. I didn't hear it. Woo. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Rick this time, baby. It's Rick this clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Rictus work. Let's fucking go. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Sessions to get there. Mm -hmm. We got it, baby. <laughs> 
Figure uh, we get there eventually. Yeah, by the way, anyone was free to check the name on that ship. <laughs> and no one did. I didn't we even the, think about it. We had we had the inquiry to go for a painting and find them. We're like, no, nah, we're good. <laughs> well, it probably doesn't help that the people that found the hidden room and the map are the two... Like, our the mammoth and the Mustang, I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ease what it is. Sorry, Reese uh, is a bit distracted. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I, I'm so glad all of my plot points are coming into fruition finally. <laughs> God damn it! I've been waiting on. The, I I wanted it to have like an actual like weeks time from when you requested the information, Rictus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it took you guys like actually like ten weeks of IRL time for you to get there. <laughs> and I was just like, Man, fuck, it's just going. Well, I hadn't. Well. I hadn't forgot about it. I knew it was still. He was still gathering all the information for me, but I just wasn't sure when it was going to come back up. Nah, uh, I was waiting. I was prowling. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Yeah, I, I, I love, I love like how Rictus is like such a calm and like well-respected member of the group, but has probably seen some of the most fucked up shit from day one. <laughs> right. And honestly, like I I went back and I reread your backstory, mm -hmm. so it's just like I wanna I wanna make sure like when I reread this like I wanna I wanna uh, remember the baby rictus part because remember it's like baby rictus. Uh, yeah, uh, Zaman. He he was trying Zaman. to stab him in the hand, but what he had wasn't quite doing anything. Bro is brawling from day one as a fucking child. <laughs> Imagine you're fucking like eight. Just wait. Just wait. How long of a backstory Rupert did you praying write, on the downfall. Uh, uh I mean, it wasn't. Long. No, it was. It's only like two pages, I think. Yeah, it's about two pages. And a little bit extra for like character details and stuff, but. Yeah. And we finally got to see. I'm the map. I'm the map. But somewhere in two pages, you still fit in a tidbit about your infant self stabbing a Goliath. <laughs> it's important, all right. I love. I love it. Well, there was more detail to the fight that Rectus didn't go into, just because it was pretty traumatic, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. But yeah, that was that was part of it. Bro had the Batman beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But instead of using fucking someone else to build the shit for him, he said, "Fuck it, I'll do it myself." <laughs> right? Fuck it, we do it live. He feels that um, he wasn't, he couldn't protect his dad, so he's trying to do what he can to protect others. Oh my god, you it's are so a little, cute. you I are a little it. Batman. Mm. You make, Much you wholesome. like make all your own shit and. I know, right? <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Do you have your gadget belt? Yep. <laughs> you what? have your sidekick, oh, you have your Robin. <laughs> who's surprisingly more acrobatic than the rest of the party. <laughs> eh, it's a monkey, let's not be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited. I named their uh, jewelry store too. That they had. I didn't have it in my background. It, I just actually thought of it a couple weeks ago. Nice. Nordrum's fantastical and whimsical family jewels. <laughs> That's, <fucking awesome. laughs> That's great. I love when it's like overly long for a yes. sign. Just like and with the like, name. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's one of them like where you walk by and you have to do a double take because you physically couldn't read it the first time you walk by. Yep. <laughs> it's like the fuck did that just say? And also, uh, family jewels. Uh, 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 oh my god. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Little tongue in cheek there. For Ash. Making me pull out a fucking bartender out of my asshole to talk to for like <laughs> 45 minutes straight of IRL time. Yeah. Must I needed to vent, okay? Uh. No, it was yeah, fun. He's seen great. some shit. It was great. <laughs> that is a description of what it's like to work in the fucking food service. <laughs> food industry. 
of just having your customers come in and vent their fucking lives to you and you just being an underpaid like overworked yeah uh -huh. oh no i get it uh now now random random rob will live on in our hearts Dude. as the guy <laughs> as the guy who almost understood what a ghost was <laughs> Mustang doesn't even know what a ghost is, so it probably no. doesn't help. Oh. The moment Kiplian, Kiplian on the tower, it was so sad. With Ezra, the music honestly showed up. It went to really sad shit as soon as you started, like, sulking, and I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> I must. It calls. Duty calls. Oh. So cute. <laughs> Well...